This is a video showing how to use a signal generator with the ramp function. So first I will go ahead and select the signal generator icon on the left hand side. This icon will only be visible when you have an interface with a built-in signal generator or if you have the standalone signal generator attached to Pasco Capstone. Once I've selected that, you can see that I have my 850 connected. I will open up the first output. Under the waveform, I'm going to click on that and go down to select positive ramp. The speed of the ramp is controlled by the frequency. So if you're using this to drive a DC motor, your frequency is likely going to be a decimal form. In this case, I'm going to set my frequency to 0.1 hertz so that my cycle will repeat every 10 seconds. I'm going to leave my amplitude at 1 volt. And then down below, I'm going to set my uh, controls to auto so that it will only collect uh, it will only run the signal generator when I am collecting data. Now in order for it to monitor the output for the 850 I need to click on this top yellow circle here that's by the output to the uh, first channel of the signal generator and I'm going to select the output voltage current sensor. Once I've done that now I can go to my graph screen and assign my vertical axis to that voltage output. Now we can see the behavior of the ramp function. When I hit record, you'll see something strange happens. It's set to zero. The reason for that is that the signal generator is specific to each page within your workbook. This allows you to set different signal generator conditions for each page of your workbook for different experiments that may exist within the same file. So we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process that we did with the same with the first page by selecting positive ramp, changing the frequency to 0.1 Hertz, and then selecting the auto for the start condition so that it will only collect data, or rather it will only generate the signal when I'm collecting data. Now when I hit the record button you can see that the function will start off at zero, it will ramp up to one volt at five seconds, and then it will drop down to negative one volt at five seconds and then re uh, finish the process at 10 seconds. This will again repeat the process um, until you stop data collection. For those cases where you only want a positive output for your ramp function, we can set a positive offset to the output for the signal generator. We'll go ahead and do that by selecting the signal generator icon again. And this time we're going to set the voltage offset to one volt. This will mean that the signal generator will start off with an amplitude of 1 volt. It will increase to a voltage of 2 volts at 5 seconds. And then it will drop down to 0 output at the 5 second mark. We'll go ahead and repeat that process here. I'll go ahead and close down the signal generator. And I'll click record. So you can see that we started off at 1 volt. It will climb to 2 volts at 5 seconds. Then it will drop to 0. And then continue ramping up and repeat this process once every 10 seconds. Now, if you wanted your signal generator to start off with an amplitude of zero, but continue this positive ramp, we can also shift the phase for this display. We'll do that by going to the phase shift here on the, uh, this entry mark below the sweep type. And let's go ahead and change this to 180 degrees. So we'll go ahead and uh, close this window down again. Close down the signal generator window. And now when we hit the record button, it will start off with a zero amplitude. It will climb to a magnitude of 2 volts at 10 seconds. And then it will repeat this process. This has been a short video showing how to use the ramp function within the signal generator for Pasco Capstone.